Hi guys, Angie here with Angie Makes. Today we're talking about fonts. Specifically, how do you add the hidden characters in your font into whatever application you're using, whether that's Microsoft Word, Adobe Illustrator, etc., etc. Um, there's just some certain characters that you're not able to access by just hitting keys on your keyboard, okay? And let me show you just some examples. I'm gonna go to my desktop really quick and I'm gonna install a font. I'm gonna actually double click it and that should open it in your default font editor. There, it took a few clicks here. I'm gonna hit install font and the default um, font sort of manager on a Mac is called Fontbook and you can see that it just opened here for me and I've installed this new font called Heathrow, okay? Now I'm gonna show you, this is the secret, okay? This is the bread and butter of this font is I can come up here in the font book, the application font book and say view repertoire, okay? What that's gonna allow me to do is view all the characters that I've built into this font. Like I said, many of these are not accessible by hitting keys on your keyboard. I've got like a double M, I've got, um, if I scroll down even further here, you'll see swashes that I've built in to this font, some cool like borders, okay? And all I have to do to use these is just come up here and hit Apple C or Edit Copy, and then come over to whatever application that you're using. I happen to be using Adobe Illustrator. And there you go, I just pasted in this swash that I just copied. You can do Edit Paste, I did Apple V to paste that just there. Now I'm going to go over back to Fontbook. I'm going to grab the end swash, Apple C, or Edit, Copy. Come back over to Illustrator and paste it. And you can just see the benefits of this. I mean, you're able to access so many great um, little extras that I've built into this font. Okay, I just copied and pasted that sort of swishy line. And again, <clears throat> this allows you to use all the characters in a font, whether you have access to advanced programs with a glyphs panel or not. And this is called the private use area of a font, and it's spectacular. I just can't get over how easy it is to use all these extra characters. This is going to be pretty life-changing for those of you that maybe in the past have not had access to a glyphs panel, which is what allows you to typically access these because this changes the game. You can access them just from your default font book on your Mac. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial.